Hi, this is question 6 from the AQA Core 2 Jan 2013 exam paper. Um, to start with in this video, I'd like you to try the question yourself. Um, so if you'd like to pause the video now and give it a go. Okay, why don't you manage to have a go at the question. Um, for the next part of the video, I'm going to give you a hint as to how you can go about answering the question. Um, okay, for uh, part A, we're given a geometric series, um, and these are the terms of the series. We're told um, that we want to show that the common ratio of the series is 0 0.7. So we're trying to show that um, what I multiply this number by to get to this number is 0 0.7, and what I multiply this number to get this number is 0 0.7. So think about how you can show that. Okay, part two says find the sum to infinity of the series. There's actually a formula that's given to you in your formula book for this, and um, the sum to infinity um, is equal to a over one minus r. Okay, part three says write the nth term of the series in this form here. Again, um, you're given in your formula book um, a way of finding the nth term and um, we're told the nth term is going to be equal to a r to the n minus 1. Um, so be careful here because we want it to the power of n so think about how you can manipulate this so that it's in terms of the power of n there. Part b says um, this time we've got an arithmetic series um, and the common difference of the series is um, negative 8. We first of all want to find the nth term. So we want to write down an expression um, for the nth term. So again, in your formula book, you're given um, that this is going to be a plus a. And subtract 1d. And um, so you want to use the information that you've got um, and, and stick it into this here. Part 2 says given that um, u sub k is equal to 0 um, we want to find the value of this summation here. So um, again we want to use our summation formula that's given to you in your formula book um, and we've got a half of n a plus l where l is the last term in in the series okay so those are my hints um i'd like you to now stop the video and see if you can have a go at answering the questions for yourself okay um well done if you managed to have a go at that um, i'm now going to go over the um, answers to this question um, i'm just going to create a little bit more room for myself Okay, so for part A, um, the first part of part A, we um, are asked to show that the common ratio of the series is 0 0.7, so I'm looking for what number I times 420 by to get 294. Um, so I know that 420 times by my common ratio gives me 294, which means my common ratio must be equal to 294 divided by 420 which is 0 0.7 ok um, part 2 I apologise for my writing ok part 2 um, find the sum to infinity of the series so we said we were going to use this formula here so I'm just going to bring that down here and um, I know that A is 420, I now know my common ratio is 0 0.7, which means this here is going to be 0 0.3. So my sum to infinity is going to be 420 divided by 0 0.3, and um, that works out to be 1400. Okay, and um, part three, and this time um, we want to write the nth term of the series in this form here. 
so um, we said we were going to use this formula here okay and um, I again I know what A is um, A is uh, 420 my first term and I want to times that by 0 0.7 to the power of n minus 1. Now this is the bit where we need to be a bit careful because we want it in this form here where we've got a number times by another number to the power of n. This is to the power of n um, subtract 1. So what I need to do is I need to um, rewrite this and I'm going to separate this into 0.7 to the power of negative 1 times by 0 0.7 to the power of n. Now remember this here and this here mean the same thing. Okay, remember when I add the powers of this together I get n take away 1. Okay, so they mean the same thing. So um, again into my calculator I can put this in or I can divide 420 by 0 0.7 if I want to do it that way um, that gives me 600 times by 0 0.7 to the power of n so now P is 600 and Q is 0 0.7 there you go Okay, for part B, um, I'm told that the first term of uh, an arithmetic series is 240 and the common difference of the series is negative 8. So, um, we first of all want to write down an expression for the nth term of this. So, we decided that we were going to use this formula here. So, it's going to bring that down there. Um, okay, and this is part B. Okay, now um, I know A because that's my first term and that's 240 and I know my common difference is negative 8 so I can um, put that into here and I've got 240 take away 8N plus 8 um, which means that my nth term is going to be 248 take away 8 n and there you go now I'm just going to move this over here for the time being ok and for B part 2 ok we're given the um, our um, U, u sub k is equal to 0 so the kth term is equal to 0 and we want to find the summation of um, of our first k terms so to start with um, I need to work out how many terms um, this is going to be before we get to 0 so um, I want this here to be equal to 0 um, so I've got 248 take away and I know that it's my kth term and I know that's going to be equal to 0 so that means 248 is equal to 8k so k is going to be equal to 248 divided by 8 which is going to be 31 ok so that means that um, my summation is going to be from n equals 1 to 31 that's what k is worth and um, my nth term is 248 take away 8 n ok so this is what I'm trying to work out now we said earlier we were going to use this formula here so um, just put this down here Oops. ok so, um, using this formula, um, I can 
or the summation is going to be equal to a half times how many terms we have which is 31 and we're going to times that by my first term plus my last term now my first term is um, what we're told over here which is 240 and my last term well we know that my last term is going to be 0 so it's going to be 240 plus 0 which is 240 so that means that this is going to be equal to and if I do a half times 31 times 240 I get 3720 there you go and that's going to be the value of that summation there okay I hope that was useful thanks very much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you again next time